Hey, man, I'm really not trying to give Benzino so much pub on my channel, bro, but the shit is just priceless, dog. Let's go. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on in these motherfucking things, you feel me? Um... Hey man, before I jump into anything, bro, like, we try to get away from 2020, right? Trying to leave that shit way in the past, dog. I mean, what, we six days in to the new year, bro? We headed off and uh, we headed off on the right start. I'm being sarcastic, bro. First, we get the fucking news about Dre, you know what I'm saying, with the aneurysm or what have you. And now, fucking the Trump supporters breaching the fucking Senate, dog, and Motherfuckers getting shot, and this is crazy, bro. I ain't trying to speak on that. What I am trying to do is bring some more positivity while all this fucking crazy shit is going on. And <laughs> that being said, we get a lot of positivity on this channel by watching whatever the fuck is about to take place here. Oh, what is this? This is Mercules. Mercules, I guess, put out a disc record on Benzino called Old Folks Home. I guess they got some hostility between them. Not, I'm not really sure the source of the issue. But it just seemed like it just seemed like I'm seeing Benzino's name all over the motherfucking place. I just did that whole reaction when he went off on the tangent talking about this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? So about to dive on into that. But before that, man, before that, y'all motherfuckers set me up. Y'all motherfuckers set me up. Y'all motherfuckers set me up. I ain't even gonna say nothing. Just watch this. Bro, I can't even believe I'm about to goddamn do this reaction, bro. But fuck it, dog. I'm with the fucking smoke. Let's go. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on to these motherfucking things, you feel me? Hey, I'm like Eminem, essentially, bro. I can't let go. I can't let go. I'm trying to stir this motherfucking pot and... Uh, <laughs> dive into more of this drama man you know what i'm saying it's entertaining as fuck it's entertaining as fuck bro uh and i i'm about to do a whole reaction to a benzino song dog and i guess is this taking a shot at eminem that's what y'all said you know what i'm saying it's got some drama inspiration within this fucking video with this song or whatever the fuck so we're about to see what's going on hopefully y'all done set me up for the okie doke hopefully y'all not wasting my time I ho hopefully this shit is worth my motherfucking time uh recording this shit man but anyway let's get into it man patreon family love y'all appreciate y'all thank y'all for the support thank y'all for rocking with me um you think about signing up go ahead and sign up it's lit it's lit shop that merch holds the headaches all day every day man let's go let's go I don't know how I feel right now, bro. Like, there's so many fucking thoughts going on in my brain right now. First, he got the whole D'Angelo, how does it feel shit going on. And then he, uh, oh, I mean, kudos. Motherfucker's in shape for being so old, bro. He taking care of his, he taking care of himself, man. But, but come on, dog. Like, come on, bro. Like, ugh. Bruh, this is like pause, 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 and more motherfucking pause, bro. Like, I know he don't got a female audience. I mean, what audience does he have? To be what if what makes him feel like it's okay to come up here butt ass naked, fucking 60 years old, doing what the fuck he doing, bro? And then I see him like licking his lips in the fucking camera and all the acting and shit. It just it's just making me. Ah, oh, bruh. Bruh, if Eminem needed any more fucking ammunition, any more motherfucking motivation, any more fucking information about this motherfucker to, to go at his neck, 
to go at his neck, Benzino was making it a lot easier for him, bro. It, it, Benzino's making it a lot easier for Eminem <laughs> to fucking decapitate him, disembowel him, whatever the fuck, vocally, bro, with the lyrics, dog. Yeah. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. Hey, good job for staying in shape, taking care of yourself. That's dope as fuck to be that old, to be that in shape, but bruh, bruh, but dog, but dog. Feelings, I admit it. Shit too complicated, really, I ain't tripping. Had me counting all the days that you're missing. And then what is this? What is he doing? What? What is he doing? What is he, what is he, what is this? What is that? What is that, bro? What is that, dog? All right. <laughs> it really, I ain't tripping. Had me counting all the days that you're missing. Over down, hot chick, sundress, model bitch. This on the triple, let's see y'all is on the carpet. Too many racks, I don't really need no wallet. And I'm fit to take her off the market. Throw the bands up in the email. Oh, some pictures where we nah. going. I can't do it, dog. I can't do this shit, bro. I can't. Y'all fucking set me up, man. Y'all fucking set me up. This is about a whole bitch. He rapping about some female shit, man. Why the fuck y'all send this shit to me? Why the fuck did y'all send this shit to me, man? Come on, dog. I ain't trying to watch this shit, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm, hey, y'all on goddamn. Y'all on goddamn. I can't believe y'all, man. I can't believe y'all, bro. I can't believe y'all motherfuckers did that shit to me. I'm out. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers set me up, bro. I thought it was like a diss track to Eminem or something. And he went up there and did all that fucking crazy shit, man. And I wasn't even going to post that fucking video, bro. Why the fuck would I want to post that video here? But it's just a way for me to go ahead and get that shit out. Because it's, it's, I feel like it'll be funny. I feel like it'll put some smiles on some of y'all's face, bro. And then we're going to dive into some more whatever about to take place here. So Merc, this track, Benzino, Old Folks Home. Let's get it. Patreon family, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for rocking with me. If you're thinking about signing up to the Patreon, go ahead and sign up. It's lit. I'm telling you, it's lit. Um, merch, always available. All types of shit. Talk your shit. Everybody versus fucking racism, bro. Everybody versus fucking racism, dog. And uh, without further ado, let's get it, Merch. All right. Am I in the Matrix or something? Can somebody slap me and wake me back up? Am I actually beefing with Benzino right uh. now? Let's hey, that damn beat sound low key like um like the renegade beat a little bit. It got some similarities with whatever that damn knocking shit is. It remind me of renegade beat, but I'm who cares? Let's go. Am I in the Matrix or something? Can somebody slap me and wake me back up? Am I actually beefing with Benzino right now? Listen, you've been in my inbox talking shit for almost two years now, my G. I've been to your city. I've sold out shows. You weren't there. Bruh, did he really go ahead, man? His DMs like that. Oh God, I'll torture you. Win, win. Like man, let's go. You won't make, you won't make it back. You faggot. I'll torture with no responses. No, come on, bro. That's between them. Like this shit could have been edited and made to look this way, but I'm trying to hear what the motherfucking Merc got to say. Let's go. It's two years now, my G. Yeah. I've been to your city. I've sold out shows. You weren't there. I can't believe I'm wasting a beat this good on you, bro. Like, give me my 10 minutes back, honestly. Wake up and smell a coffee, old man. Let's go to work. Picture this. The year is 2021 and I'm beefing with Benzino. Wow. He is depressed and he looks at me like the next Chico. But he is a mess. He just injects needles at D-ball and he's so obsessed with them that he won't never let the beef go, Bumzino. You are not a rapper, you're a clown. He put the nail in your coffin, I dug it back out of the ground. I'll put your ashes in the... Put the nail in the coffin. I dug your ass back up out the ground. Nail in the coffin was Eminem shit. You know what I'm saying? And nah, Merc got to put his little touch on that motherfucker too. Let's go, Merc. Let's go. Let's go. Backward and I'll pass that shit around. You're hold, so on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I dug your back out of the ground. I'll put your ashes in the backward and I'll pass that shit around. Okay. You're so ashamed of the real you that you act like someone else. Uh -huh. Yo, Raymond Scott, you tater tot. You pray to God I'll make it stop. Eminem won't take your calls. I know that really breaks your okay. heart. Them steroids you take and leaving heroin scab. <laughs> you got the same fucking jawline as American dad. I'm Facts. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that shit, but buddy said, uh, he said he been injecting, I guess he, he, he injecting steroids. The motherfucker is a buff ass 55 year old. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I ain't ever seen a motherfucking 55 year old that goddamn buff. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't want to put whatever. Merck said it, not me. But he said you inject yourself so much you got heroin scabs. Whew, whew. Buddy said you got the same face as American Dad. 
Goddamn, Benzino's jaws is on swole, goddamn. Motherfucker probably take a punch. <laughs> Benzino, where's your therapist at? Okay. You're 55 wearing skinny jeans, that's terrible sweat. <laughs> All those needles you injecting got you foaming at the mouth. The only 60 year old rapper with an OnlyFans account. Wow. And even though I know deep down you. I've been hearing that shit a lot lately. Hold on, rewind that shit back, dog. Rewind that 55 shit. 55 wearing skinny jeans, that's terrible swag. All those needles you injecting got you foaming at the mouth. The only 60. The only 60 year old I know with a. OnlyFans account, $30 a month, 25% off. That's the whole best, dog. I, I I have been hearing people say this fool got a fucking OnlyFans account, dog. He got 42 posts, 2,000 likes, bro. Hey, man, you got to do what you got to do. You got to go out there and eat, bro. All the women getting rich off this shit. Ben Cito said, why can't my 55-year-old ass have an OnlyFans account, dog? Let me eat. Let me eat. Get your little fucking $30 a month, bro. <laughs> Year old rapper with an OnlyFans account, uh. and even though I know deep down you really hope this gives you clout, remember when your baby mama caught you scoping out her house? You a weirdo. Keep thinking you're the man on the gram, but at the end of the day, you're just Stan's biggest Stan. Right. I'ma take him to the old folks home. Watch me take him to the old folks home. You're a fucking senior. I'ma take him to the old folks home. Watch me take him to the old folks home. Don't forget your pill. I'ma take him to the old folks home. Uh, so I, I also. I gotta put my critiques. I'm fucking with it. It's just a fucking rap this. I shouldn't be critiquing how the shit sounds, or whatever. I, but I like, I'm gonna take you to the old folks' home. I'm gonna take you to the old folks' home. I like that shit, but the little ad libs he put in there, I, ain't, I don't like the way that shit sounds. You forgot your pills. I feel like there should be some more there. But he, like you say, he put this shit up. He put this shit out real quick, 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Put this trick out. So I get it. It's just. When I heard that shit, it just made me wanted to say that. I ain't trying to hate. Shit sound good. I just say it feel, I feel like it could sound better. You know what I'm saying? But he's still doing the same work. Get his ass, dog. Oh, mama, take him to the old folks' home. Do you need help up the stairs? I'ma hey. take him to the old folks' home. Watch me take him to the old folks' These home. These kids nowadays are Catch me right? in Boston, Massachusetts with an automatic shooting. If I don't hit Benzino, I bet a heart attack will do it. Ah. So fuck the magazine. Now I'll just call you the source. Because that's exactly what you are every time you appear in court. Rap bastard. Oh, God. Fuck the magazine. I just call you the source because that's what you are every time you appear in court. That's a bar. That's a bar. He was one of the fucking heads of the Source magazine. He said, fuck Source mag fuck the Source magazine. You can have that name yourself because you a fucking whole rat in court. I like the little play on words and shit though. But this, I can't help but break bars down, bro. Come on, dog. Relax, Stevie. This ain't what this is for. This, this ain't what this is for, dog. Just have a good time with it, dog. Have a good time with it. Let's go. Botox injections, you made a plastic. Pull the nail out your coffin just to take a shit in your casket. I'm laughing. Remember the time that his chick slapped him? What happened? He's trying to paint this as some white and black shit. I'm breaking his facial tissue for making these racial issues. And I'll film it just to laugh at the face you make when I hit you. You a pussy cat, suffering suck attached. You fucking whack. Take your five mics and shove them right up your fucking ass. You on Instagram in tight clothes, acting hostile. Seven years ago, a member of your own family shot you. I'm in your city twice a year. Check me please you're too busy snorting coke off m&m cds yeah. i'ma take him to the old too busy snorting cocaine off of m&m cds bumzino <laughs> you're too busy snorting coke off m&m cds bumzino i'ma take him to the old folks home watch me take him to the old folks home you're a fucking senior i'ma take him to the old folks home watch me this shit is nuts though bro like uh, I'm not even, I wasn't really paying attention to the visuals he got with, you know, Benzino all on the fucking thing, but I'm just saying, bro, I'm just saying, bro, unless he got a midlife crisis or, I don't know, he got to be delusional, bro. He got to be delusional, dog, because I don't, what fans is checking for him like that where he feel like he need to be, you know, doing these little 16, 17 year old posts right now taking selfies and shit, dog. Like, come on, bro. Come on, dog. Like, if that was my homie, I was like, bro, chill out, dog. You don't need to be doing all that. Don't you need to be doing all that? Just go fucking go out somewhere and be a boss, dog. Don't be doing this little childish shit, bro. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. You making it too easy for motherfuckers to clown you, dog. Like, they got they got ammunition on you for forever. They got ammunition on you for forever, bro. Like, you can't do nothing. Take him to the old folks home. Don't forget your pill. I'ma take him to the old folks home. I'ma take him to the old folks home. Do you need help up the stairs? I'ma take him to the old folks home. Watch me take him to the old folks home. These kids nowadays, am I right? Look, this is what happens when you got no legs to stand on anymore. So you try to make everything about race. You try to pit everybody against each other. That shit doesn't work anymore, bruh. 
Listen, at the end of the day, your career, that shit definitely works. It just doesn't work for his ass. Anybody gonna take his ass fucking serious, bro. That's just in my head because of all the racial bullshit that I've been watching and hearing and whatever the fuck. It's just struck a chord with me. Stop talking so fucking much, Stevie. My bad, but it ain't gonna work with Benzino, bro. It ain't gonna work with Benzino, dog. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't about to be creating no divide, dog. Let's go. Guess each other. That shit doesn't work anymore, bro. Listen, at the end of the day, your career died a long time ago, man. You spent your whole career watching your peers blossom and become legends. All you did was remain at the bottom. Now you're taking these measly checks, doing club hosting events, starting an OnlyFans account just to get by while all your old friends are rolling in millions. You spent all your time in the gym lifting weights and trying to fill the void inside you to damage your ego because you're a little boy inside, bro. Every day you look in the mirror and think that because you got some muscles, you're cool as everybody else. But listen, you watch those people succeed and you got nowhere. We're done here. Mm. I said it before. I hope you sleep well tonight. OG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even say it without laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Ben Zeno. 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Max. Zeno. You're bum Zeno from now on. You're a bum. And that's all you'll ever be. A bum. Bruh, low key, dog. This just this little tangent he went on. Low key, the, all the shit he was saying at the end of this track hit harder than what the fuck he was rapping about, bro. Cause he was digging in them, dog. Every day you wake up and take a look in the mirror, you realize you ain't amount to shit. You at the bottom, all your motherfucking peers on uh, just passed you, lapped your ass, rolling in dough, and your motherfucking ass doing little measly club appearances and got an OnlyFans account. You fifty five years old, dog. That's got that's gotta hurt. That's got to hurt. That's probably why he got so much hostility towards whatever the fuck it is he's he's getting into. You know what I'm saying? That's got to be why. It's got to be why. That shit would make a motherfucker go crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> why can't I eat? <laughs> bro, you was on the... You was uh, you was one of the co-founders of the goddamn Source Magazine, dog. Source Magazine and all that shit going on with that, with Dave Mays and shit. That's why that racism shit is in my motherfucking head because I just fucking did that shit yesterday. The Royster Five Nine defending Eminem against Dave Mays and some motherfucking named Mouse. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't seen that shit, go see it, bro. It's a long video, but I think it's it is worth y'all's time, dog. Just it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. But uh, Merck did this thing. That Merck did this thing. You know what I'm saying? A little, little, you know, a little smooth in and out. You know, jab, jab in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a fucking a left hook to Benzino's Family Guy jaw. Let's see what Benzino gonna do. I really don't give a fuck what Benzino gonna do. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to see. This shit. And I really wanted the motherfucking reason to let y'all see that fucking whack shit y'all made me fucking do. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Patreon family, let y'all appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for fucking with me. If you think about signing up, go ahead and sign up. It's lit. Merch always available. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Push that notification button for your boy, man. I'm out.